Hi guys, Coach John here from Lafayette Strong Fitness and Martial Arts. I've got Coach Justin with me today. We're gonna go over a high yield pro tip for slipping across now. Now this is a little bit more scary because everybody wants to throw their money maker at you, which is their right hand. And when we slip the cross correctly, we're gonna be bringing our face at our opponent. So if you're not comfortable doing this one, I would hold off until you can really get the timing just right in order to make them pay for it because one of the big things about this is that when they miss with their cross, it puts me at a really good advantage to throw my right hand. And I'm going to throw right down the middle on their face. And it hurts. It feels like you're, you're, you're running into a wall. You're expecting to hit someone, and all of a sudden, you, you just feel a thump on your face. It catches you off guard. It's a really good way to change the pace of a fight. Let's go over it. Let's come on the side. So now, <clears throat> I want to remember, like in our last video, if you haven't caught it, where we talked about slipping the jab. There's a straight line that cuts across the room here for Justin that I have to imagine is an impenetrable wall, okay? I don't really want to step my foot too much far further past that. And I want to just get my head just a little bit off to the right. So when he throws his cross, this time I'm going to take my left foot and I'm going to step out to the left just a little bit. When it was a jab, I was stepping straight in and going toe to toe. This time I'm going to go off to my right, my left, just a little bit. So it's a step in and maybe three inches to the left. Now I'm going to drag my right shoulder forward and I'm going to make sure my nose doesn't pass his elbow. So let's change sides again. Watch Justin, the tip of Justin's elbow, okay? I want to make sure when I do my dive, I don't go any further than the, where's your tip of your elbow, right? Than the tip of his elbow, right here. Too far in and I'm, um, I'm clinching or I'm doing a double leg. Not far enough in and I'm going to eat that hook right behind the two, okay? So when we take this step, this is scary. That right hand is going to be coming right at my face, and the less he misses by, the better it's going to be for me. One more time. Boom. Okay? One more time. Boom. I'm stepping in. There's an impenetrable line on the front of Justin's toes, and I'm making sure my nose goes to the tip of his elbow. The thing I like to do here is I throw my straight right down the middle. So we change sides. My right hand is gonna come straight up and I'm gonna drive my elbow up to the ceiling to try to bump his arm up. Boom. This is the one that catches people off guard because the punch doesn't come winding up. It comes straight from right here. I see it coming and I, I, I throw my cross down and my elbow up and it just catches people on the bottom of their chin and they don't see it coming. So it's a really, really good thing to use on someone who's trying to throw this at you all the time. Or a jab and a big overhand right. I use this a lot on someone who's trying to headhunt me. But you gotta get the timing right. Having the timing for this is really, really important. I would practice it as much as you can before you actually start trying to use this. But that's a really high yield pro tip. Um, you can only learn so much from uh, online training, so get in here and train with us. We've got the best coaches in the area. We're giving away real good value, no, valuable knowledge here at Lafayette Strong Fitness and Martial Arts. Come in and train with us.